What's up guys, Cedric here, back with another video, and today we're gonna to be doing another food review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Butternut Squash Crackers by uh, Real Food From The Ground Up. Did I say that right? That's an interesting name. But anyway, we are reviewing Butternut Squash Crackers. This is another vegan snack. A few things caught my eye here when I was just looking at the box. Uh, they say there's about 50 crackers per serving, so that's something that they um, advertise on the box. So I'm really skeptical about that. Um, you'll see why in a second when we look at the macros, but 50 uh, crackers, that's a lot. So I'm wondering if these things are like miniature sized or something. Um, but yeah, they're crackers. They look kind of like cheeses from the box, but let's get into the macros on this thing. So for the macros, so only four servings per container, so there's not a whole lot of servings. So we might actually get 50 crackers if there's, you know, only four servings in a box. Like, that might make a little more sense, but 100 calories. So this is a pretty decent snack. You get 50 crackers for 100 calories. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, that's definitely not going to break the bank, and you should, can easily fit that into any type of uh, diet that you're, you're doing. So... Uh, you're getting two grams of fat, you're getting 20 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. So this is not a protein snack. This is definitely just like a little snack to kind of hold you over, um, you know, before you eat your main meal. So yeah, not, not a whole lot in this thing, which is good. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, when you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is butternut squash, which is great. Uh, a lot of times you'll get snacks where, you know, it'll be like, you know, sweet potato this or... Uh, you know, uh, cauliflower or whatever, but then the first ingredient is gonna be like rice flour or something like that. So the first ingredient is butternut squash. Now the second ingredient is whole grain rice, and then we have a list of a bunch of other things. But um, yeah, just looking at those two things specifically, that is nice to see that butternut squash is the first thing on the list. Um, no, I see there's some cinnamon in there, sh shiitake, mushroom, there's a little bit of everything in this thing, but um, yeah, let's try this thing out and see what this tastes like. All right, guys, I am back. I poured exactly 28 grams, so exactly the serving amount. Um, I don't know. I feel like I poured like half the bag in this thing, so I don't know if there's four servings, but whatever. We're going to take their word for it, um, and I'm not going to bother counting to see if this is 50 crackers. It looks like it's a decent amount. So first thing first uh, if you guys look at this thing it is very thin it's like paper thin uh, maybe smaller than what a cheese it would be uh, but yeah this it reminds me more of like a wheat thin like with how thin this thing is and maybe that's what they're actually trying to go after like the wheat thin uh, you can see the little uh, salt uh, crystals on there so those are pretty large you can see those flat on there let's just see what this thing tastes like all right here we go All right, so I'm definitely getting some wheat thin vibes when I eat this. And I haven't had wheat thins in quite some time, but it immediately reminds me of wheat thins. Uh, but uh, even thinner than wheat thins. Um, the taste is not too bad. I definitely get uh, the, the taste of butternut squash. Um, I can definitely taste that coming through strong. Um, it definitely has more of a savory taste than a sweet taste. I know like some of the wheat thins, I think like the original wheat thins, it has more of a sweet taste to it. But this has more of a savory taste to it, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, it's not too bad. I definitely had to eat a lot of these to really get a taste for it. Uh, eating just one is just, you're not gonna taste, have, there's not enough flavor in one to really taste it. You're definitely gonna have to eat a handful of these, which means like what, what I said in the beginning, you're gonna wind up eating the whole box, uh, which wouldn't be, be a bad thing because if you eat the whole box then it's 400 calories which isn't the end of the world now what the one thing that i did notice is that i feel like some of these are slightly burnt and you, and you probably won't be able to see it on camera but some of the edges are like just burned just slightly but because this cracker is so thin that burn taste comes through strong and that takes away from the flavor of this cracker so that's really unfortunate um i don't know how to fix that um but I think, like I said, the downside is because they're just so thin, um, any imperfection is gonna come out really strong in this cracker. So other than that, I think it's a pretty good cracker. Um, I just feel like maybe they need to make them bigger or maybe make the box bigger. 
So I feel like I'm really getting my money's worth. Um, but then again, I guess if you make them bigger, then that would affect the amount of calories they can be maybe. But so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Definitely like a wheat thing.